So in our sale on Saturday is a wonderful carved ivory head of a dog, which uh, this cane belonged to Governor Percival Baxter uh, from Maine, and it has his name engraved in sterling silver here, uh, an excellently carved uh, dog, uh, ivory dog head handle with little glass eyes. It has a uh, sn what they call a snake wood shaft, and it's in lovely condition. Uh, he had his favorite dogs and had dog handle canes. Two canes are uh, exquisitely carved. Uh, this one has another hound, <coughs> another hound with glass eyes. This is done in multiple sections of ivory so they could get the curve for the handle. And it has a hammered sterling silver band, again, in a nice rosewood or snakewood hardwood shaft. If you're a cane collector or you wanted a piece of historical Maine history, uh, these would be lovely to own and to use. 2136 is a collection of six canes that came out of a wonderful private home in Cumberland, Maine. This one has a carved greenstone open mouth uh, lion and it's a silver, sterling silver mounted, but when you unscrew the top, it reveals this hand blown little glass vial. And we don't know what they kept in it. it screws together like this, like this, and great shape. And it has a horn feral tip on it. And this would have been made right at the, around 1880, 1890. So that's one of the canes that's in this collection. This here, with a rope around it, usually these are the captain's boarding uh, canes. Oh, there it is. Look at this. It has a blue, a gilded and blued triangular blade that the captain always had to be able to protect himself. Oh, that's the captain of the ship. And it slides in there. You gotta get it in just the right way because it's fitted, especially one way, like this. And there it is. Again, part of this set of canes. This one has a carved RV handle, sterling mount, with this beautiful figured burl uh, shaft, cloisonne inlaid handle, and Japanese black lacquer form cane. So these are all would have been right around 1880, 1890, turn of the century canes. And look at that. That happens to have a sword in it and a very sharp one. So you wouldn't want to fool around with this guy on the street.